Ladies and gentlemen, the Las Vegas Raiders have made several decisions this offseason that indicate exactly what they're going to do at the quarterback position. These are the five reasons why the LSU quarterback, Jaden Daniels, will be a Las Vegas Raider. Reason number five, personal connection. Remember, there is a personal connection between head coach Antonio Pierce and quarterback Jaden Daniels, stemming all the way back to when Daniels was the quarterback of the Arizona State Sun Devils. Jaden Daniels even gave a shout out to Antonio Pierce when he accepted the Heisman Trophy in December 2023. I want to thank Herm Edwards, Marv Lewis, and Antonio Pierce. Thank you for your leadership and welcoming me when I was at ASU, and thank you for giving me the keys to the program. One of the more insane connections that Pierce had with Jaden Daniels while at Arizona State is the recruiting scandal that Pierce was a part of. It turns out Jaden Daniels' mom aided Arizona State in the alleged recruiting violations during the pandemic. Antonio Pierce was considered the mastermind behind the Arizona State Sun Devils recruiting scandal, and that is why he had to resign from Arizona State and then join the Las Vegas Raiders as their linebacker coach. But there are allegations that also include Jaden Daniels' mom in this scandal. It turns out that she helped book more than $1,100 in flights for recruits and their parents and the adults coming with them. So essentially, she was helping out Antonio Pierce in this recruiting scandal. I don't even like calling it a scandal because honestly, Arizona State just got popped doing the same thing that I'm sure every college was doing out there in 2020 and 2021. We know for a fact Jim Harbaugh was doing it. By the way, we made a whole film on Jim Harbaugh's controversial career. The link will be in the pinned comment and description below. So reading between the lines, these people, Pierce and Jaden Daniels and his mom, they are tight and go way back. Reason number four, proof that the Raiders want a dual threat mobile quarterback. We know the Raiders originally pursued Cliff Kingsbury to be their offensive coordinator, but unfortunately that did not work out. So the Raiders decided to settle on Luke Getze, the former Chicago Bears offensive coordinator. But what are the commonalities between Cliff Kingsbury and Luke Getze? It is the fact that both of these guys have recently relied on a mobile quarterback for their offense. But there is something that's even crazier that happened last season that absolutely nobody is talking about, and it shows exactly why the Raiders Raiders want a mobile quarterback. This happened in early January. The Raiders worked out the former Baltimore Ravens quarterback, the third stringer, Anthony Brown. They worked him out, and then eventually on January 8th, according to NFL insider Tom Pelissero, they signed Anthony Brown to a future deal. A lot of people are not talking about this. This quarterback, who is a mobile guy, uses his legs, is built to back up quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson. This guy is going to be on the Raiders team going into the 2024 season. So you're signing quarterbacks that are very different than Aiden O'Connell and Jimmy Garoppolo, and you're also getting offensive coordinators that work with mobile guys. Reason number three, Jaden Daniels' own expressed interest. There was some Twitter activity happening just a few months ago when Jaden Daniels was at a bar, got a picture with a Raiders fan, and this woman said that he wants to come to the dark side, and this would seem harmless. Oh yeah, sure, he told a random fan that he wants to join the Raiders. But what's even crazier is you had Antonio Pierce. He liked the fact that Jaden Daniels allegedly wants to join the Raiders. Maybe there's some truth to this post. Maybe it was a real thing and real interest that Jaden Daniels expressed. Jaden Daniels was also in the house at Allegiant Stadium in the locker room with the Raiders. During Pierce's last game against the Denver Broncos, he was supporting his good friend. You also had Jack Jones, another former Arizona State Sun Devil, who worked with Antonio Pierce on January 21st, long after the regular season game concluded, this guy was posting on social media, J5 to the nation. Jack Jones is good friends with Antonio Pierce, and it seems like he wants Jaden Daniels. He's expressing interest openly, publicly on social media. Jaden Daniels also gave some more clues in December when he was asked what his favorite city is, and he had one obvious answer. And you're going to tell me which one is your favorite? Washington, D.C., New York City, Boston, Atlanta, and Las Vegas. Random. 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 Random, random, cities. Random, random cities. Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Right. Jaden Daniels did not hesitate to give that answer. Devontae Adams also let us know which rookie quarterback he would like to see join the Las Vegas Raiders this year. But I did uh, pay a little bit of attention to, to Jaden Daniels. I know he was a, a good, tough, uh, obviously won the Heisman, so he's a, he's a great player. But that's somebody that I think that, that can come in and, and be a decent player. He's 
Jonathan, but it's as somebody that I've seen that look like he can throw it. And he's an athlete, can kind of throw on the run, make plays with his legs, all of that. Devontae Adams could have named any rookie quarterback, but he chose to name Jaden Daniels. Reason number two, the perfect general manager for the job. For what it's worth, the Raiders did sign GM Tom Telesco. What's most notable about Tom Telesco is the success he had drafting Justin Herbert in 2020. He took Justin Herbert with the number six overall pick. Keep in mind, as a scout for the Indianapolis Colts, Telesco also saw the evaluation and selection of quarterback Peyton Manning. So it seems like Mark Davis perhaps grabbed a GM like Tom Telesco because the Raiders are looking for a quarterback. He's a guy who's had success recently drafting and evaluating quarterbacks and even long ago, 20 years ago, had success evaluating top quarterbacks. So maybe he can do it a third time with Jaden Daniels and the Las Vegas Raiders at pick 13 or by trading up. Reason number one, insider information. You have ESPN's Jeremy Fowler saying that the Raiders could be trade suitors for a top three pick. Because Jaden Daniels is mocked to be the third quarterback selected in the NFL draft, the Raiders are sitting at pick 13 and would likely have to trade up to pick three in order to get their quarterback. The question is, would the Patriots be interested in this kind of trade? I think it's only fair because they gave the Raiders Josh McDaniels. At least they could scratch their back by trading down. But Jeremy Fowler notes that Antonio Pierce is a big fan of Jaden Daniels. He obviously mentions their connection at Arizona State that we talked about earlier. And he also mentions the fact that the Raiders were looking at coordinators that could sue Jaden Daniels or a mobile quarterback. And that's something that we brought up that seemed quite obvious now that we're thinking about the Anthony Brown signing that happened in late 2023 and now 2024. This is so crazy to think because all the signs are pointing to the Raiders doing this. On one level, I find it odd that the Raiders would be so brazen and open and sort of show their hand and kind of let everybody know that they're interested in Jaden Daniels. Usually you want to keep your intentions and what you want to do a secret. Could this all be smoke? Could they be trying to lead people in one direction and then do a switcheroo at the last minute? That's possible. But oftentimes when it comes to the NFL draft and when it comes to the very top of the NFL draft, sometimes what's expected plays out exactly how we all thought. Sometimes we hear that the Carolina Panthers would take Bryce Young number one and they do. Sometimes we hear that the Houston Texans want a quarterback and they would want to take CJ Stroud and they do. Sometimes Aiden Hutchinson is mocked to go to the Lions and he does. But I still find it odd that they're putting all this smoke out there, letting everybody know that they would be interested in Jaden Daniels. Maybe it could be a method to persuade Mark Davis to make it happen, to persuade GM Tom Telesco to make it happen. That's a possibility. Either way, with the move to get a mobile quarterback and the fact that the Raiders are likely not going to mortgage their future to get the number one or the number two pick, drafting Jaden Daniels with the number three pick seems like a more likely possibility. But at the end of the day, the Raiders are clearly moving in this new direction under head coach Antonio Pierce. They want a mobile quarterback and they will likely have a mobile quarterback starting in 2024 for the first time since Terrell Pryor in 2013. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Will Jaden Daniels definitely be a Las Vegas Raider? Also, man, if you're still watching at this point in the video, I really appreciate it. Only the real ones really watch all the way through. And I want to let you know, I really appreciate it. And if you have not yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more NFL content for me, Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out. And I hope you have a good one.